Um, but I, I seriously, I love you guys. I cannot tell you enough how much I love this movie. Um, I really appreciate you all taking the time to do this. And, and I know like six people in a Zoom is not the easiest interview thing in the world, but like, I appreciate you guys just hanging out and geeking out with me. And, and seriously, you guys are all the best. And this was. Yay. Oh. Stuff has just been happening, man. We really have to. Should Come I get here. a festival? Is Come he here. Yes. Come here. Let me move my coffee. This whole interview is just going to be oh. you guys pulling for your dogs. That's yeah. okay. And us just sitting here. There like, we go. Oh. Oh, oh hello. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh. Hey. He's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind yeah, of she's... Oh, I, I adopted her from a shelter. So, you know, you never, like, you never really know what you get. Um, so she's like a shepherd mix. Amazing. But, uh, oh, no. I, used to have, I used to have two shepherds. They were lovely dogs. Oh, they're the best. Spoiled rotten. Um, I yeah. would say that she sleeps with me, but she takes up a majority of the bed. So I'm pretty sure I sleep with her. <laughs> she's she's about to she's about to go off to go all right go lay down go she's on going to good. her bed which is your yeah goal. she's yeah exactly she's going back she's going back <laughs> seriously i cannot think this is so cool this is a, so oh my god you have no idea how excited i am thank you so much for doing this this is so amazing well, thanks, thanks for having us, us. Thanks for having of course us. oh my god have you guys done many interviews i, I would imagine your inbox all of your inboxes are blowing up right now this is our first yeah. one yeah yes i think this is what you have together I take great pride in this. This is awesome. Um, so I was, I'm just, I have sort of just a lot of just general questions I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, I don't necessarily want to like specify to any particular person. So if you guys just want to kind of answer collectively all together. Um, but I guess I just want to kind of talk about like when, when Psycho came out, it like made people afraid to go like hop in the shower. Like people weren't taking showers after it. And then when Jaws came out, like entire beaches went out of business because people were too afraid to go into the beach and go into the water. And now it's, I, I've talked to a few people who uh, have seen this movie and right now we're all doing these Zoom meetings for work and everyone is afraid to now log on and do stuff like this. <laughs> have you guys uh, heard of people like being a little bit more apprehensive to do this and has it changed your perspective on doing it at all? I keep I'm getting gonna... people tweeting me saying I'm never going on Zoom again. Zoom stock actually took a dive because of us. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise. Well, the craziest thing is that for so many, like it's the same background right now as it is in the movie, which I, which makes it like all the more. Caroline, I keep expecting like your face to just like like face plant into the screen, which is unbelievable. Uh, you know, and my boss actually, my the, my boss at at my station texted me like last night and was like, "Oh my god, that movie is." unbelievable and he is like he always says that I, i'm too kind on movies but he went off about it um so this is a fairly generic question but i'm sort of curious like how was this pitched to you and all of you in the movie all seem like you you've known each other for years did you guys know each other before this or did you was this sort of what brought you all together no so, we knew each other um in one way or another um some of us studied together and some of us worked together so yeah we've known each other for quite a while Caroline Radina and I were all in a Rob and Jed's short film, Dawn of the Deaf, like four or five years ago that went to Sundance. And so we kind of all stayed friends from them. And then Gemma was in the course above us. So we, we met that way. And then, you know, you immediately bond over just that you went through the same war together, essentially. <laughs> and then Emma was friends, was in a film with Jed and all of us were in that one. Yeah, me and, Emma, yeah. me and Emma also worked on a commercial like years ago, and then we turned up to set on Jed's film, and we were like, "I know you." Yeah. And then me and Caroline also have a production company together, so we we're like really close creatively, all working together. It's like it's like a six degrees of Kevin Bacon kind of thing. Like in exactly. one way or another, you guys all sort of knew each. So then, how was this? Pre because whenever I first heard about this movie, because uh, I, I feel like around last week I started seeing everyone talking about it on social media and the initial like premise without giving too much away is like oh it's was filmed during quarantine it takes place d during a zoom session and I my first thought was like oh that's that's kind of interesting was that just the initial pitch to you guys or was it a little bit more specific so um oh do you want to go <laughs> there you go, you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> um so at the start of lockdown we said so we have like quite a large group of, of friends who are all filmmakers and um, we set up a WhatsApp group called the Quarantine Movie Club. Um, and we used to just like watch films together um, pretty much every night. Um, and then 
one of the nights we were having a Zoom call and Rob decided he thought it would be funny to prank us. Um, and he uh, recorded the prank and put it online and it went viral. Um, and then from that it got, from the video, it got attention from um, Shudder and then um, the project was kind of spawned from there. And then we had a call with um, Rob and Jed, the writers, and they, um, they said like, oh girl, this was a few days after the prank. And they said, oh girls, like we want to have a Zoom with you. And we were all texting each other being like, do we trust them? Do we want to do another one? Because they pranked us. Um, yeah. And then they just asked us um, if you wanted to do the film, so. And then we did, and then we did a real seance um, to sort of decide how we were gonna like, where everyone was gonna sit in the film and what, what but we didn't actually, we didn't know that, did we? We just were like, they were like, do you guys want to come on a seance? And we were all like, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and the worst thing is, like, some of the things that happened in that seance happened in the film. Like what? So um, I got um, something yeah. happened in my house, um, and there was like this loud bang, and I got up and started crying. I'm a wimp in real life, so like I cried, and everyone was like, "Gemma, come sit down," and I was like, trying not to sit down and be like play it really cool, but actually when I sat down, I was like in tears, crying, and then <laughs> Emma, there's the um. The connection went, the internet connection went with the real life medium. So we never actually finished the seance. So like, we're still in it now. Who knows? Wait, like, like in the movie where her- movie. Yeah. And we didn't get her back. So we're all just kind of like- So now you're in it with us, Jake, so sorry. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> do you, do you or, unless I am like the most boring ghost possible. And like, I, I, I am who you brought out of the- uh, of the astral field that would be it would be the most boring horror movie ever so wait so like yeah all of this had to be happening within a very short amount of time because i mean like i don't want to say we haven't been in lockdown for long but like like it in terms of like being able to pull off a movie like having these conversations with shutter coming up with a script filming this thing like i mean what, what was the time span in which you guys did all of this i i think like maybe two months from the first phone call to the delivery date if that i mean our producer douglas cox who is incredible was like having to do everything you know he's getting phone calls from us and phone calls from production and phone calls from rob and just trying to organize it all within a week maybe and i That's think it was supposed to be a short film and then it ended up being a feature because there was yeah. so much to put in it so it ended up just taking longer and longer but they did it they smashed it I want to talk about the decision to use your real names, which I actually genuinely kind of love because now as I'm talking, one, not, not just your real names, but then also like just where you happen to live. Was that a, like a, was it a debate? Was it always going to be that way to make it just seem a little bit more personal? Well, there were like, we were, because <laughs> when we were saying, so, like we would say stuff and then I'd be like, I'm all right. Like, for example, uh, Salem, I had to be really rude and I was like oh guys I don't want to look like that asshole and it's my name just like slagging off someone's job so every time we hit cut I was like I'm so sorry please like I've really like respect I've actually been to a medium like <laughs> so we just try to basically remind them that it was our names <laughs> people may get confused <laughs> We'll, um, we'll make sure that when they watch this interview that they understand that there is a difference between <laughs> your characters and, uh, and, and who you end up. You know, I, it's, I don't know um, if you guys know like, like the backstory of Jaws, but like basically like everything broke. Spielberg was running out of money. And because of that, he ended up having to get really creative. And then that's what ended up like yielding a masterpiece. And like right now with you guys being stuck at home, I'd imagine the budget wasn't necessarily massive. And it sort of, to me, brought about that idea of like necessity is the mother of invention. Like you guys pulled off a masterpiece would you make the argument it's because you had such limitations that like you're stuck at home and you didn't maybe didn't have a massive 100 million dollar budget and because of that you were able to turn in something truly creative i mean this film wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that like it just wouldn't exist i mean, I mean maybe they thought of it later down the line but like rob doug like jed Gemma, everyone like sound callum Brenna, everyone Steve, the whole stunt team, it was just everyone was working incredibly hard, being incredibly creative. And because we were already friends, you could be like, ask someone what they were comfortable with and people would think of things. And it was just fun. So that I think, like you said, you know, with Jaws, the more 
the more we were like pushing it, the more there were limitations. And then the more there was like creativity, but that was down to, you know, the core team. And like, we could not have done it without Doug, Rob, Jed, Gemma, everybody else. They, I mean, we are, I'm so grateful that they're our friends, you know, and these, and like all these girls just were so incredibly like, generous as actors I mean there were so many times we were crying and I said to Hayley I was like I have no eyeballs like and I'm using her eyes <laughs> yeah that is true like in second it was such a safe space uh for us to experiment to try new things to you know to fail to feel okay if, if you're if you're not certain in certain things that you have this huge uh group of people that are like you can do it it's okay you can do it. let's let's do it together it's fine so that was that was the best part of it everyone is friends and everyone is supporting you yeah that's yeah. all that really special well you know that's so interesting that you guys say that because each of you guys have a moment in this movie that i'd imagine for you personally especially if you're at home filming this thing by yourself that was an, probably an incredibly difficult moment to try to get through and because of that i'd imagine at some point in the production, each of you needed to rely on every, the, the, other, the other four to get through that moment. Was there like, did each of you have that moment where you kind of had to like reach out to the other four and say like, guys, you gotta, you gotta help me through this? Oh, we've had like a group chat since probably day one of being like, oh my God, my, my eyes are burning. Like, can, you know, can, I'm, I need help getting this. How am I gonna set this up again? I'm not sure if my continuity is the same. Like, are we gonna let Rob and Jed down? I think we relied a lot on each other to just, like because it was such a unique experience you know you're not as an actor you're never having you know we get pampered a lot where we sit in the trailer and then we show up on set versus this was really learning to appreciate like you know we have to make sure that this the set is the same every time we've got to be in charge of continuity we've got to be in charge of our own stunts and and props and things like you know we had yeah. to come up with a lot of the gags because rob couldn't be in our flat to know where everything is located and what kind of tools we had to work with all the time so to that point like because there are like i know like you guys filmed this thing at home and, and you didn't have like this massive like shooting team around you but there are some special effects shots in this that i'm genuinely so like, sometimes i don't want to know like like the man behind the curtain like i don't want to know the magic and have it ruined for me but there are some shots in this that i genuinely don't know how you guys pulled off so like was it the director was he walking you through okay while you're at home you need to do this and i had like like how did you guys get creative to be able to pull off some of these shots uh i think we we tried quite a few things before we started filming um and most of them came from from rob um, trying to see what what is possible what can we do um and then on the day some of the at least i can i can only speak for myself but like some of the uh stunts was like okay this is not gonna work we need to find another solution so you have like half an hour like okay let's let's think about it so wh what are we gonna do where are we gonna do it and it was um which was also quite cool quite challenging yeah um yeah so that, that's from my experience yeah we had like some more um like in-depth step-by-step bits which we had help with the stunt team for and then there were other bits that were like a little bit more tame that we could do completely ourselves. And I mean, Teddy in the film, luckily he's a stunt guy as well as a great actor. So the fire on his face is real. Like that's all real. What? It's real. Yeah, and I got to react to that because it was already edited. So when I did my performance on that, like I was literally watching what you see. So that was really unique as well, like as an actor, because you don't normally get to see the final product in front of you to react to. But then on the same page, you've got your own face there and you can see, you can like yeah. see yourself while you're acting. So, um, but yeah, so it was a mixture of the great stunt team and a bit of everything like us and even Rob and Dougie and everybody. So the boys That's would, oh, oh sorry, no, I was please. just saying the no. boys would be like on the call to us. And we, I, we didn't know a lot of what happened in the script because a lot of it was redacted. So the boys would be like, we've just seen the coolest stunt. And then they'd and then they'd be like, sorry, just jumping onto another zoom. And then they'd like vanish and then they'd come back and they'd be like, anyway, girls, so we're gonna carry on. And then they'd be like talking to each other and we'd be like, what is going on? But they got the freedom to do that. Like you would never get that on a normal set. So it was like super interesting then to see lots of it in the end because a lot of it was we get like these reaction shots that we would see bits, but then a lot of it we just wouldn't see at all until we actually watched it. Right before. What do you, why was the script redacted? 
They I wanted a genuine surprise, I think. When yeah. me and Kaylee and uh, Emma watched Caroline for oh. the first time, I, we hadn't seen it. And Rob likes to do this thing where he makes us watch horror film clips on the most scariest bit before he says action. So we watched something so horrific and then we watched Caroline and I was like, afterwards we were all like shaking and then it was like, okay girls, reset. <laughs> it started really tame. So it started like a jump scare from like a film, like a pretty tame, like woo. Yeah. And then like, as it was going on, it was getting more intense and the, the deaths were getting more intense. Like it, we ended up watching these scenes of like, we were feeling sick, like they were disgusting, like horror film, like we saw a man be split apart, a naked man. Oh, and oh like, we watched and Bone Tomahawk. Like, before the scene started, like traumatised, like it obviously worked, but it was like, we were like... And he, and he would, could see us watching it, and so he'd be like, you're not watching it. So for the whole time I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I had my eyes closed and I like, muted him so I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, I was so like, you guys Polter? filmed this without necessarily knowing like what direction you kind of went in blind without really knowing what direction, what was good, like what was going to happen to each person. So yeah. Gemma, Jed, and Rob wrote us an impeccable script, which was like uh, the uh, treat by treatment. Yeah, guideline treatment, and then he would direct us with certain things that he wanted us to say, but a lot of it around was improv so we were a lot of these things were on the moment reacting for example yeah. Katie sneeze we were like just on the most intense and that's real and then me and caroline looked at each other and we were like oh and then i was trying to be really like listen caroline was too but it was all of that was real because rob well, wait so was the reaction when you guys were like oh no like because i feel like that's the most like like my girlfriend and i were commenting you know, like whenever you sneeze and everyone else was like oh no like that was the most genuine thing because we're like everyone's doing that right now like you can't sneeze around anybody <laughs> yeah unfortunately i can't sneeze on cue as well as i'd like to think <laughs> it was it was perfect timing it was perfect timing. so I, I feel like this is a boring question i should have asked it earlier can you guys like just sort of walk me through how you filmed this like were you all on zoom together or did you each shoot your own part individually and then react to everyone else's like how did it work logistically um so they, certain bits were individually and certain bits were us all together um i think the majority was us all together um just doing again and again and again different things and then the individual bits were like something very specific that the other people can't see like the, something to do with your death like it because the other people can't know what's going on um so these were shot just yeah just you and rob oh my god that's that's incredible um before like, we get oh no please oh sorry i was just gonna add that um we had iphone cameras just velcroed behind our laptop cameras so it was filming slightly better quality and then like we'd have the microphones and then we'd have, so we'd be working our own microphones and making sure that the camera was turning over and then making sure we were in the right lighting setup and then and all of that, so. Yeah. And did you guys have like family members or for like at home that were sort of like, I guess like super excited for you? They kind of wanted to pop in and sort of see what was going on? I mean, I put my boyfriend to work. He had, you know, when things fall out of the cupboards, when I'm being dragged back half the time, it's him having to hide in a closet or, or pop out from somewhere. You know, he, he was doing, he deserved as much credit as I do for, for all of his work. Giron is a very talented DOP. So he was incredibly helpful to every one of us. Like literally we'd be like, Hayley, can I borrow your boyfriend? Hi, Kieran. Yeah, I've just got a problem. <laughs> That was he get a he's got to get a special thanks in the, which I love the credits by the way but he's got to get a special thanks in there because that's 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 a lot of help that's a lot of help. I, um, I want to talk about the, like the reaction. To, oh, I'm sorry, no, I just want to say the superstar is uh, Caroline's dad. I love Caroline's dad, Pat, and a special special mention to Pat. Oh. <laughs> Rock star Pat. Where's is, is, is like is he just going nuts right now? Yeah, he um, it's so funny because I'll I'll be like reading some of the tweets and everything to him. And he's like, he's like, oh, this is amazing. And then he'll just like toddle off and do a bit of gardening. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fame has not got to his head. <laughs> See, that's, that's exactly what I wanted. Like he's appreciating it, but he's staying humble. I love that. Well, I kind of <laughs> want to talk about sort of, before we talk about like the bigger reaction that you guys are getting, just what your friends and family are saying right now. And also like what it's like for friends and family to watch this movie. Because like we were saying, even though you're playing different characters, it's still using your name in your homes. 
So it's got to be a little unsettling for them to see some of the stuff in this movie. Rodina, didn't your mom say that she couldn't watch past your death? Yeah, she she tried, um, and I was like, but she she even got out before I died. And I was like, but hold on, you can watch me. I'll tell you how I died. She's like, no, no, I can't, I can't. And she, she tried. Uh, my dad is a hero. He watched it twice, and he doesn't. He's not really into horror, so yeah. But it, it's not easy for the family <laughs> to see this. My mom laughed at some of the jump bits. Like I filmed her at the end because I didn't know how it's going to end. So I was filming all of us sitting on the couch and I screamed and my mum was like, ah! she was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mum, are you all right? <laughs> you know, but yeah. That's, that's the best. Now talking about just the reaction, Haley and I talked a little bit before you guys popped on, like what have the last five, six, seven days been like for you? Because I felt like it started kind of like, I started sort of seeing people talk about it. It was popping up here and there. And like, it's just snowballed. It's just massive now. Like every time I log on, like New York Times is writing about it and Empire is writing about it. Like this thing is like, go and here's the thing. I, I think just based on the premise, like maybe some people would have paid attention. Like, oh, like they, it was filmed during quarantine and over Zoom. But people are now talking about it because it's good. Like, like it's not about the bit anymore. It's about how good the movie actually is. So what, like I saw Mike Flanagan was like tweeting that he wanted to watch it. Like who is like a horror genius. Like what, for, what, what, have it, what has it been like for you these past few days? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, the, horror, the, horror, the horror fans, those guys are incredible. Like horror fans are just so welcoming and fun and amazing. And then having other people, I mean, we heard it on BBC Radio 1 today. Like that's, you know, we grew up listening to that. Um, and Haley heard it on, what did you hear it on? What was it really? Yeah, having NPR do it. I'm in London, but obviously American. And like, I was like, NPR, yo. That's it. You know, you know you've made it. That's legit. <laughs> and we were like, what? <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> So for Haley, it's NPR. But it's for, for the rest of you, is there a particular reaction from someone online that sort of made you pause and go like, wow, like that person's talking about our film? Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. <laughs> Elijah Wood. You guys have Frodo <laughs> talking about your movie. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we were, I was jumping like a kid up and down. I was like, <laughs> it was just so we, we really want um, Reese Witherspoon to watch it, right? So Caroline was like, do you happen to know Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> to, to, um, oh my gosh. Elijah. Elijah. Sorry, my mind was blank. Um, and <laughs> so embarrassing. Uh, I just... In the prank, in the <laughs> prank, someone had um, Reese Witherspoon as their Zoom background, and so like she was just in our viral prank, and like she had no idea. So, but yeah, we were like, "Hey, Elijah, do you know um, Reese Witherspoon?" <laughs> as if to be like, uh, "Yeah, okay, that thanks, Elijah. Yeah, uh, we just want to speak to Reese." Yeah. Like photo, <laughs> like you're like great. <laughs> I just yeah, thought like, I did. <laughs> Our writer as well, Gemma, she was like, I legit fancy his voice in Animal Crossing. <laughs> you guys have good things with people though. Okay, I, I do have a, a spoiler question. And if, if anyone's like watching this and they haven't seen uh, the movie yet, because because so I'm going to air this on my station here in Chicago and we're going to package it air around the country here in the okay. States. Um, then I'm also going to put it on my YouTube channel. Um, just, just uncut just for people to watch. Um, so this is going to be a spoiler question. And uh, so I'm just sort of curious, Haley and Gemma, that the, the your last sequence together uh -huh. we get a quick glimpse of something before the free trial of zoom runs out which is the absolute perfect way to end this movie by the way because i've had a few of my conversations cut off by the free trial of zoom can you tell me was that like someone in something like like makeup is it like just a quick image like did they slid into the frame like what are we seeing like in in, in the filming process behind the scenes so Gemma and I didn't, so that's, um, we didn't see that when we were filming it. We had the pleasure okay. of watching that as everyone else did. And I screamed my head off at that as well. Um, that is a wonderful actor. His name has now slipped my mind. Someone must know it. James. James. James yeah. That, I think it's a mix of CG and makeup. It looked amazing. He played the demon in, um, in Salt as well. In Jed and Rob's last short film. I'm sure he did. He played the... Um, yeah, he did. He did. Demon. But I'm, I'm imagining that was a bit of makeup and they shot that 
him separately. And then that would be our VFX um, compositors putting that together. Our amazing. Steve, yeah, Steve and the team. They're just so incredible. Like the scene with the bottle smashing on my head was uh, Nathaniel, like our incredible stunt guy in full PPE, literally just getting a sugar glass bottle eight times, smashing it in my head. And then Steve and the team just paint him out. Like, yeah, and like a whole human. From beginning to end, I mean, it was a couple of months for, for the whole project, from the idea to it being on Shudder. So the special effects team had next to no time to do it all. And there were quite a lot of stunts in it because yeah, right. we had to film it all first get the script first so like they really like pulled it out of the bag mm, and Caroline as well who, with your makeup um the US effects um yeah, who was that because that was amazing because Caroline had someone literally just telling her like every time she smashed her head right a bit more <laughs> bit more blood bit more yeah, <laughs> yeah he sent over um made the prosthetics at home and then sent them in a studio and then sent them across and um yeah I was like applying them. So I had a crash course in, um, over Zoom, a crash course in how to apply the makeup. And then with that scene, we were, we'd film a bit, apply a bit more, film a bit, apply a bit more. Um, and then as soon as we finished filming, 10 minutes later, we had a rehearsal. So I had to like take it all off because the girls couldn't know about my death. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I love that so style of filming. That is so, I love this idea that you guys didn't really know what was going to happen to everybody. And Caroline, when you're shooting that more, like I would be so afraid that I would actually slam my head into a screen. Did you have to like really try to be careful to sort of catch yourself before? I kind of did headbutt my computer a few times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was a version that we were filming. I don't think it, it made it in, but um, it was where I had my laptop on the corner of my bed. And then I was just diving across my room and diving across the bed and like headbutting the laptop. Um, and every time Rob and, um, Rob and Dougie were like, are you okay? <laughs> Do you want to go again? <laughs> and I was just like having the time of my life. So I was like, yeah, let's go again. Um, but yeah, there's, there's blood, there's still blood on my curtains from the... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's I amazing. It's a glass, um, the sugar glass, sort of down the back of my drawer, because when I had to, when I, I did that, I had to shoot it with a BB gun, and we did it like eleven times with eleven different glasses, and um, you know, obviously between takes, hoovering it all up, but like, like, because it's your bedroom, like, you just find the tiniest little bit right in the back of furniture, and you're just like, oh, oh yeah, we did that, or like a BB pellet, like behind my wardrobe, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I haven't got them all, you know. You guys are going to have to explain that. It, like, people come over and you have, like, remnants of blood or, like, little BB pellets around your homes. You're going to have to explain that to people one day. <laughs> just makes it more exciting. Yeah, for houses. sure. Yeah. I think there was, uh, a, uh, like, 65 VFX shots in total, which is mental if you think about how quickly the team had to do that within maybe a week and a half, two weeks at the most. They're just wizards. I, I, I have like, so I don't know how they do it. They're just coding wizards. And they're just so chill. Like Steve will come on with mead, like homemade mead in a glass. And like he sits there and he's like, he sits there. Like, you're right. Yeah. That's, <laughs> he's that's well. unbelievable. But you know, I think what the thing that I genuinely love the most about the movie is that like, and I, I realized, I looked for this more so when I watched it the second time with my girlfriend, is that you guys set up everything within like the first 15, like things that end up having payoffs uh, on, on, the, on the flip side. Like, like Caroline, like you sort of joking about like your fake background, uh, like, like just so many like little things about, like, you know, like, you know, Jim, the fact that you are, you know, right outside Haley's window, it addresses the fact that you guys are close enough so that you can run from one apartment to the other. Like you guys set up all these like little things that end up having such great payoffs in the end. And I think that's, it, in 56 minutes, it just works so well. Um, but I, I seriously, I love you guys. I cannot tell you enough how much I love this movie. Um, I really appreciate you all taking the time to do this. And, and I know like six people in a Zoom is not the easiest interview thing in the world, but like, I appreciate you guys just hanging out and geeking out with me. And, and seriously, you guys are all the best. And this was. Yay. Oh. Stuff has just been happening, man. You, yeah. you asshole. What was that? <laughs> Mine fell over earlier. I actually wanted to do. I was talking about Elijah Wood and I, like my little cactus friend. <laughs> we had the code words and the girl said the code words so many times. <laughs> <Just> <laughs>
ngobrol. What was the code word? Reese Witherspoon stunts. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been like trying to give each other looks like this film. How did we do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we needed the amazing team because. Yeah. <laughs> that, no, I will say behind Haley, like that seriously, like kind of made me pause for a moment. And you know what? I, that was like this is like this is the coolest thing that I've done in in interviews since I've been doing interviews at home. This is that was the best. That was awesome. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, it is it is like three thirty in the afternoon and I'm like legit scared in my like I have sunlight pouring into my apartment. And I'm like legit scared in my apartment right now. That was hey, awesome. I told you you're the new Teddy. <laughs> I'm in. I oh my god. That, oh, I hope not. Stay away Seriously, from fire. Stay away. From I know. I plan on it. I did, trust me, like making coffee is as close as I want to get to fire. Um, I, seriously, thank you guys so much. I love all of you. This was seriously, this movie was the absolute best. I do like a top 10 list at the end of every year. I guarantee you this movie is going to be on my top 10 list. Um, it was absolute best. And uh, I, I really appreciate all of you taking the time to do this. Thank, thank you so much. much. Bye. Awesome. Thank Bye. You. Bye guys. Bye. See you later. Bye.